Alrighty, and welcome to Nate Crony. I'm Nate, and here at Nate Crony, we're all about chronographs. If you're a serious or even just a casual air gunner or air softer, a chronograph is an essential piece of kit that you really need to have. Whether or not you're very serious, you're doing lots of tuning work, trying to get every single bit of performance out of your rig, whether or not you're doing some hunting, you wanna make sure that you have enough energy on target for a fast and humane kill, whether or not there's legal requirements. You need to make sure that you're a, under a specific power limit, things like European countries, if you're an air softer, before you go on the field, you wanna make sure that you're under a specific speed, but also it's the primary measure of health checking is your equipment running. If you look at something like a PCP, you've got things like regulators, you've got hammers that are moving, you've got lots and lots of seals, even a simple springer, you've got seals, you've got moving parts, air softers, there's lots of mechanical stuff happening as well. If all of those are working well together, you're gonna to get good consistent shots. So the only way to know if your equipment is working well is to throw a crony on the end of it and say, am I getting good consistent results from it? So first of all, is the Nate crony accurate? So we can say, yes, it is. We have independent certification from the National Measurements Institute. That's the governing body that does all the measurements here in Australia, uh, traceable back up to the international standards. So we sent a batch of chronographs to the National Measurements Institute. They get measured, they get certified in terms of the specifications of those units. We then have a set of master chronographs. Every single chronograph we make we then calibrate against those known master chronographs. So when you get your Nate Crony, you know that each and every result is gonna be accurate. We also run a series of strings at different speeds through the chronograph to test the circuitry to make sure that it's consistent. So typically at 250, 500, 1,000 and 1,500 feet, we make sure that there's not more than one foot per second of variance at 1,000 feet per second. So your chronograph is accurate and your chronograph is consistent each and every shot. So yes, the Nate Crony is a quality device. Let's talk about cost. So the Nate Crony should be able to get in your hands ballpark figures of about 100 euros, 100 pounds, 100 US dollars, 120 Australian pesos. So it's much, much more affordable than a lot of expensive units that are out there. And again, you know, it's calibrated and certified. So you're getting incredible results very, very cheaply. How do we actually achieve this cost savings? If you look in your back pocket or in your hand, you've probably got one of these. This has a screen and it has a battery. So why would I sell you a device that's got a screen and a battery? It doesn't have a screen, so it's not fragile. Throw it in the bottom of your range box. It's not gonna get damaged. You're not gonna have to get a screen replacement if you drop it or anything like that. Really, really durable. If you look at things like lithium batteries, they are horrific to ship. There's lots and lots of restrictions that are coming in in different countries around the world. And also the lithium batteries are gonna degrade over time. Three to five years, it is not gonna give you the performance that it once did when you bought it. And if it goes completely flat, it's dead. You may need to go back to the manufacturer to get a proprietary replacement battery. Nate Crony is powered via USB. So you can plug it straight into the phone or use a simple USB power pack ultra cheap, accessible anywhere. And if they ever die, you can get another one really quick. You don't have to come back to us. So that's how we keep the cost down by minimizing what's actually included in the chronograph. There's also no app. Uh, we don't care about your data. We don't want your data. Read the privacy statement around data collection of some of the apps. It can be really interesting. There's no concerns around GDPR. The Nate Crony is a Wi-Fi hotspot. You get your device, either a phone, either a tablet, anything with Wi-Fi and a web browser. Phone, tablet, a laptop, a PC will even work with a Nate Crony, as long as it's got Wi-Fi and a web browser. Um, I tried this with a phone that's 20 years old. It actually still worked perfectly fine. The Crony itself is a hotspot. You can connect to that Wi-Fi hotspot. You can also get the Crony to connect to an existing hotspot. That'll allow the crony to do things like print results and email and share results from your phone. So you can quickly get data off the, off the crony really easily. Connect to it over Wi-Fi, and then the crony itself serves the web page. So there's no internet connectivity required. It does the web page from the crony itself. So really convenient, really cheap. There's no app, there's no developing, there's no security around the app. That's how we can keep this down. So we've taken a different approach 
using standards, and that's how we get the cost down. The other thing is that the Nate Crony is muzzle mounted. So a lot of the issues you have with those shoot through devices, you'll have some screens over them. They won't work in indoor lighting, fluorescent tubes, LED lighting can cause problems. Sunlight clouds, again, can cause problems. They're also quite big. If you're shooting from a table, you've got one of those on, you're hanging off the back, they are painful to set up. Also, things like radars. Radars are gonna require a minimum amount of space. You can get a lot of missed detection as well because you're getting reflections from the radar depending on what's in the environment. Being muzzle mounted, it detects every single shot reliably every time. I've had customers after nine months never missing a single shot, putting hundreds and hundreds of shots through them. Ultra, ultra reliable, works in all conditions. Muzzle mounted, if something comes out the end, it gets detected. Really, really simple. The one drawback of muzzle mounted is that you need good, clean, dry air. They will not work on any powder operated firearms. Also things like CO2 can cause issues because the CO2 is actually a liquid. A vapor cloud comes out the end, that can block the infrared beams. So good clean air only. Compressed air, springers aren't a problem. If you do have a springer that's just been lubed and it's dieseling, that can be smoky, that can cause problems. Get the smoke out of it. A cleaning pellet once in a while to make sure that there's no graphite or little shards of lead as well. Uh, keep that in top order. That's gonna give you, as I said, couple of hundred shots before you need to think about cleaning. The cleaning procedure takes five minutes to disassemble, quick wipe and reassemble. So really, really ultra low maintenance device there as well. So in terms of how does it actually work, uh, we use a series of adapters to mounting it on the rifle. Uh, our standard is the good old threaded adapter. So half UNF threaded adapter, screws on the end, the Nate Crony slots over that, screw in there, hold everything in place, you're up and running. If you don't have a threaded half UNF, maybe you have an unthreaded barrel, we can use something like our little uh, variable adapters here that slide over the outside of the barrel. As long as the bore is concentric, the bore's in the middle of the outside of the shroud or whatever it is, the variable adapters work well. If you're running a moderator, again, if that's legal in your country, places like the UK, we can go up to 50 millimeters. So we've got the big bopper there, you put that over the outside of the moderator, you can do all your testing and tuning in pretty much complete silence. So it will work over basically anything. If you've got something odd, under lever, you've got sights that are sticking out, we've currently got about 20 or so different types of adapters. If we don't have an adapter for you, reach out to us. It typically takes us a day or so to design an adapter and get it out. So anything that you have, we can make it work reliably with the Nate Crony. Being muzzle mounted, you're getting accurate detection of muzzle velocity as well. So really important there. If we look at the different software, so there's two flavors of software. We've got the regular software um, that'll have the speed, the power. It gives you the statistics, minimum, maximum, average, standard deviation of your shot string. It has four save slots for the shot string as well as the current. You can save over a thousand different shots. It has voice readout. You can read out the speed, the power, or both. It's got an ultra cut down for a very minimal display web page. So it'll just give you the current reading. Uh, and you can also configure everything. So configure the password for the Wi-Fi. You can get it to join existing Wi-Fi's. If you've got a printer at home, you can print results out from the web page. You can share results, email it to yourself straight from that web page, send it to your mates, send it to yourself for long-term record keeping really, really easy to get the data off the Nate Crony and get that around however you wish to use it. Uh, the Airsoft version is very, very similar, but we have a rate of fire. So we measure the time between the shots uh, and it's good for automatic fire. Uh, we've tested up to 100 shots at 1,500 shots per second. Didn't miss a single shot. So if you wanna make sure that you're getting good consistent shot after shot after shot in automatic mode, then the Airsoft version is for you. The standard one will do up to about five to 10 shots per second. If you wanna go above that and go crazy, the Airsoft version will do more than you could ever dream of. So that's the different software. Otherwise, they're all the same in terms of how they work, the look, the appearance, it's just a slightly different web page. So we've got a few different models. We've got the original version one Nate Crony. We've got the mini Nate Crony. And then we've got the V2, which is just about to come out. 
We're moving towards the V2. It is smaller, more, more compact, and a little bit lighter. So you can get the original and the Mini Nate Crony a little bit cheaper. The V2 has more accessories. It's got a USB and some other things with it. So the V2s will be a bit more expensive. If you've got a high powered uh, Springer piston, the standard Nate Crony or the V2. If you've got a lower power, something like a pistol, um, the Nate Crony Mini goes up to six and a half millimeter, 25 caliber. Original Nate Crony 762, 30 caliber. The V2 is good for big bore. So we're happy it's uh, 16 millimeters opening. We're good up to about 45 caliber. If you're gonna use very large power above 100 foot pounds, choose the premium, which has a aircraft grade aluminum cover. The standard Nate Crony has a polymer reinforced cover. Um, the aluminum is about 80 grams, so I wouldn't recommend that for pistols. The polymer covers about 60 grams, so considerably lighter if you're on the end of a pistol. Highly, highly recommend uh, the V2 with the polymer cover or the original Mini. So how do they actually use? What do you do? Again, screw it on, slot the Nate Crony onto the adapter, USB power, you plug it in, and then get your device, connect to the Wi-Fi if it didn't do it automatically, and open the web page, and you're up and you're tuning. So really quick and easy to get up and running, no tripods, no cables, no configurations. Everything's done through a web page, so really easy to actually input and change data. Uh, things like the Airsoft version, you've got four saved presets for pellet weight, so you can quickly change that. Check out the other videos we've got on the uh, software screens for those, for a bit more of an in-depth look. But lots of flexibility, we're consistently developing the product. If there's any features you'd like that we haven't currently got, feel free to reach out to us. So that's the Nate Crony. Have a look, reach out if you've got any questions or queries. Enjoy your testing.